guys, welcome back to Gotham Budget. I'm so happy to see you guys. Thank you for supporting me. I can't believe everyone kept subscribing even, subscribing even though I haven't been on YouTube for a while. It's just been hard planning a wedding and working and then working on another job. Just doing everything. It's starting to get really exhausting for me. And then I also want these videos to be original. So I thought, what if I do a Halloween haul before all the fiasco of Halloween's haul after October? And people already beat me to it, so I'm kinda upset about that, but I still wanna do this video for you guys because I haven't posted in forever. I know you guys get tired of makeup and whatnot. But anywho, so I did, I'm gonna be doing a Halloween haul and all the stuff I got at Ross, Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby. You guys remember I work at Ross. So I uh, got a really good discount there, and then Hobby Lobby and all the other craft stores were doing 40 percent off their Halloween stuff. So I thought, fuck yeah, let's go. So my first one is going to be my job, which is at Ross. Um, I was stocking there one day, and I just dropped them. <laughs> one of the first things I got there was this cool um, tablecloth mat. I love this. It's a really good size for um, my table for the art walks, which is going to be on October 5th. This, um, it's going to be on October 5th in Aris Alley in Oceanside, so if you guys are there, please come and see me. Even just come to say hi, because I just really appreciate that. So come see me, do art, share my jewelry, and whatnot. But yeah, I just totally love this one because it has like a bat and little spiders and skulls and roses. I don't love spiders. I can tolerate the images and the toys. I can't tolerate the actual ones because I'm, I'm terrified of them. I don't know why. Like, probably like childhood trauma. Anyways, so back to the other thing. I also have these cute little lights that I dropped. Yeah, these are so cute. They're little bats. I want to put these on my table somewhere. And they light up and they're purple. They're purple bats. I just love these. These are like $5.99, but I got 20% off, so sweet. Next, um, let's go to Hobby Lobby. So, I was just I recently opened a new Hobby Lobby here, so check that out before the grand opening. They had like a little soft of me. And I picked up these little guys. Speaking of spiders. Um, yeah, the little spider confetti. Which I'll be putting into like resin jewelry and whatnot. So like with my bat ones. Because I have these ones and I have bats. Yeah. Are they cute? And then also I got some stickers. So here's bat stickers. Ooh, excuse me. And here are some nail stickers. I won't be putting these on my nails. I would be putting them in like little resin stuff. So maybe like a necklace or something like that. I got those ones. These are like, this is for a dollar and then this one like three ninety nine. Yeah, four percent off over at Hobby Lobby. And I also got at Hobby Lobby this cute little ice cube mold. Which of course I'll be using for ice cubes, obviously. These will be used for like resin. And then I found out a little trick where um, mold release can actually extend the life of a um, mold, so I'm going to be using that a lot. Because I feel like I'd be making bracelets and jewelry for these guys. They're so cute. Anywho, that was Hobby Lobby, which I was pissed off with Hobby Lobby because they only have one aisle filled with Halloween stuff and then goes into like harvesting, whatever, for like Thanksgiving. And I thought like, oh, that's kind of cute, let me look at it, and I found a shitload of nothing. So, yeah, a little disappointed with Hobby Lobby, but I like how it's bigger and there's more stuff, my resin was there, color dye was there, and whatnot, so yay. Next up is Michael's, and actually that's a bigger haul, so I'm going to go straight to Joann's. Joann's is also doing 4 percent off, and a lot of their stuff I didn't like for Halloween, it was just fake, plastic, stupid shit like that. And then velvet. Now is it with velvet? I love the velvet as clothes, but velvet on a camel is pretty dumb. And also on like a little candlestick thing. Anywho, so but I did find two things. So 
one of the two things that I got, well, this one Cody got me, my fiance. He got me another tombstone, I have two now, um, tombstone mold thing, which I'll be using to make jewelry with. It's cute because it has a little, like, skull and crossbones and spider webs. So I really like this one. And it's actually, like, a thinner, like this thin, thinner, um, mold compared to the one other one I have. So this one would be easier to make with, probably like earrings, necklaces, and whatnots. And then the other thing I got at Joann's was this cute little candle that got dirty. Oh, it doesn't smell. I'm kind of disappointed. Anyways, see so yeah, this little cauldron thing. So the cauldron is ceramic and then the candle's inside of it. The downside to this is that it probably won't last long. But luckily, I can get more, like, beeswax somewhere and then make my own candle. So, yeah. I'm excited for this one. It's so cute. So, this will probably place on my altar somewhere. Yeah. Love that. Next up is Michael's. This was a big one because I found a lot more stuff at Michael's. They didn't have just, like, one little part that was just, um, helping stuff. It was, like, multiple parts, but you have to look through the store because I found the rest of the stuff I wanted in a little section that no one looked at, so there was like a shit ton of stuff there. So, let me show you. So I'm going to show you another candle. These little cute little skull candles. These are like for only $5.99, and then 4 percent off again at Michael's, so I'm like, yes. Original was going to get two, but there's some other stuff I wanted, so I traded one set for another thing, and I'll show you in a sec, but yeah. They're so cute. I don't know if I'm going to burn them, because there's just, I, I just love them. I don't know where I'm going to put them though. Um, we'll figure that out later. Anyways. Um, oh, shit. Okay. So this goes, this is also going to go on my table. I'm going to put little skulls out, not skulls, um, little bones for my ring display. Because usually my rings get lost into the abyss of the, of the tablecloth, so... I want to make them pop out a little more, make them more fun, and we're not better than these glow in the dark little bones. These are like for $4.99 and then four percent off. I'm not cute, little tiny little glow in the dark bones. So these will be in like a little container and then have like bones and rings on them. So yeah, I'm so excited for that one. Now I was looking for like some, maybe like skulls, but I found those instead. I'm like, this will probably be better. And then, yeah, found these guys. These are by Audiology. They were like $4.99 and then 4% off. And then, yeah. But only the bad part is like they're super flimsy. It's like this thin and then like they can bend easily. So I'm going to like put resin on them and then start making jewelry with them, maybe some pendants, and probably a bracelet too. And I'll have these on my Etsy later. But yeah. Well, oh, they're really cute because they have the picture of the person and then if you turn it, it shows like skulls and whatnots on them. It's a lot of like spooky shit. I love it. Next, I got more molds. I'm going to hang you for these because they're little bats and a little bat mold. How cute is that? So yeah. These ones I really want to make like little hair brettes, little hair clips for these in like different colors, especially if um, maybe a few pastel colors for my pastel goss. I gotcha. But yeah, I love these ones. And of course bats. Bats are my thing, guys. Next are these sugar skull ones. So I don't like how it looks here. It looks pretty like beat up. They look in here. They look really decent and nice. So I don't know what happened in manufacturing. It was on all of them. But yeah. So a lot of my friends and everybody I've noticed like sugar skulls. And I really want to make a like cute little sugar skull design. So I'm excited about that. So I don't know if I can just do layers with these. Or if I just have to put the resin in and then paint them different colors. You will see. Talent error is what I always say. 
And then the other um, tombstone mold I was talking about was this one. Got this at Michael's before I went to Joanne's. I should have waited, but oh well. So yeah, these are another tombstone. These are different compared to the other ones. These are a little deeper. So I don't know if I will make like matching earrings, small ones with big ones, which these would be pendants, or some like cute little designs to have. I could make chest pieces out of these actually. Anyways, so yeah. That is from Michaels, and I love them so much. And last but not least, I'm surprised I found this one because I found one like it last year, like after October. And it was by Martha Stewart. There's all these little paper um, hard stock stuff. So I got one from Martha Stewart, and a lot of it's been put into my jewelry. And then I found this one, which I wish I found that last year too. But let me show you. So I got this cute little paper pad, and it has like skeletons, roses, and skulls, little moons. My favorite one so far. Like, there's even bats in here. Wait, let me do it this way. I'm trying. So, like, skulls and bats, lacy stripes. Oh, shit. But yeah. I'm so in love with this. Moons. But yeah. I can't wait to use this soon. I've been dying to use it since I bought it, but I waited for to do this video first so I can... <laughs> finally start using it because I want to use it in like pretty much fucking everything. So yeah, I am so happy about this. This is my favorite bag. So this is like 20 bucks and then for this enough to reduce it to like 12 because I also had a discount which is a really bad idea because that wasn't really my discount my mom's. So in all in all I only spent like 26 maybe on the Michael stuff. The rest is spent like around 20. The Joanne stuff I only spent 10 so sweet. So yeah, all in all, I think the, this was like the most successful haul I ever had. I didn't have to spend so much too, because trying to save up money is really sucking for me right now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Um, I have a lot of plans for Halloween. I want to go out, out this year because it's been a while since I've done makeup for a while. Like my own makeup I can do, but I'm in like cosplay makeup, so I haven't cosplayed in two years. Just saving, saving, saving is starting to like wear me down because I want to do this stuff but it's all about cost and money and it's starting to get to me. So me and Cody decided we should do Rockabilly Zombies. So I'll be doing prosthetics and I'm so excited about that because that is my thing. I love doing that kind of stuff. So hopefully I'll have a video for you guys about that. I'm going to actually go to a local store here in Oceanside called um, Stage Effects. And they have like the best array of like colors for makeup, mold, um, silicone mold stuff, and I'm about to buy their resin soon. But yeah, all this stuff is like high grade stage stuff for special effects and whatnot. So I'm super excited for that. But yeah, so hopefully I'll have that video for you guys. Please subscribe, like, share, whatever the hell you guys want, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye.